Hey, it's Bradley here from Shop Optimize, and I just want to give you my top tips for finding winning dropship products, okay? So the first thing you're going to need to do is come over to Facebook and you're going to want to grab this free Chrome extension called uh, Turbo Ads, okay? So basically, you just switch it on. Uh, sorry, Turbo Ad Finder. All right, and immediately it fills your news, news feed with just ads, all right? So it cuts out all the organic stuff so that you can do your research in next to no time all right so uh, already we can see this one here it's um, got 4.8 K in terms of likes 891 comments this is looking like a good product right so um, we're just going to click on here and find out a bit more about the store okay I need one of these for my kids they're always keeping their toothbrushes in a right mess um, all right, so next we're going to go over to Commerce Inspector, which is another app. There's a free and a paid version, okay? So with the free version, it's just restricted in the information it gives you, but it definitely gives you enough to really assess what these stores are doing. So let's have a look at their products. Okay, so we can see straight away that this store is absolutely prolific with uh, product launches, which is a really good sign because you want to be following stores that... Um, are launching all the time and then just keep an eye on them and track what's working for them and uh, what their best sellers are and what's trending and you can get some ideas for product launches for yourself okay so these are all their recently launched products um, you know I mean that's old hat that one that's been around ages but um, these are fairly new I think so yeah, they, these guys look know what uh, look like they know what they're doing. The other thing to check is their apps, okay? Because um, more established stores will have more money to spend on better quality apps, okay? So ones like this, Criteo, which is a um, remarketing platform, which you need to be spending serious money on your ads to qualify to use use it. Um, VWO, if you're split testing, you've, you really do know what you're doing. You've got Hotjar for tracking your visitors. Uh, and see what they're up to. You've got um, Personalizer by Lime Spots. It's all looking good, okay? So this could potentially be a good store to follow. And then what we're going to do is we're going to jump on over and see if we can find where they're sourcing their product from. Okay, so let's just grab that. I can't remember the name of the extension that allows you to search images like that, but it um, it'll be one of the drop shipping ones like Dropified or Abelo, something like that. All right, so um, I don't see the product there, so let's just go type it in. Silicon tooth brush holder. I don't see it there either. Let's just go for. Here we go. All right, so it's 399 orders, so it's not absolutely saturated, which is good. Uh, this one down here is 26, but they're processing time seven days on these, so we want to find a supplier that's three days or less. Okay, that's five days, seven days, seven days, seven days. Okay, so this could be problematic. Um, four days three days here we go doesn't look very well established this store though but well, it's been open three years there's no feedback score on it though so we need to make sure that there's no issues with it um, yeah zero feedback on this particular product so uh, you might have to shop around a bit more for a supplier for this one but the main point of this video is to show you how to find the products, not uh, to assess suppliers. But um, let's just go back to Facebook and just drill a little bit deeper to find some other stuff. On this one, they've created a decent video. You know, they've got this kind of letterbox addition to it as well. Um, but if you want to drill into your niche, obviously your Facebook profile will attract certain types of ads depending on what you've liked in the past and what your interests are. So you want to make sure that you are um, clicking on your competitor sites, adding to cart so that you're triggering their pixels so that they um, start targeting you. And 
Um, also make sure that you're located in the USA if you want to target the USA because some of these ads uh, have obviously gone to an international level so they, they're targeting my Facebook profile here which has got my address as the UK um, but I've got another second one set up where I've got a profile in the USA so that I do most of my research on that. Okay. Um, so what you also you can do is type get yours here type okay if you just want to look for broad products okay and then you also want to filter by video because we really only want to target products that have got videos available okay um, and you want to target ones that are, are recent okay so obviously it's early January when I'm making this video so clicking 2018 is fine because um, you're going to see ones that have launched in the last couple of weeks um, but just skim skimming down this list you know, this is the first one that jumps out here, which is 2.1 million views since this December the 31st. So this is looking pretty promising. So we're going to click into this and drill into it. Okay, so there's the video. Let's just turn that off. Uh, let's click on the link to buy. Okay, so this is a decent looking store. Offering free shipping, which is good. Let's check them out on Commerce Inspector. Right. So, um, yeah, they launched this product on December the 29th. So, you know, it's been running about three weeks. Okay. Products, they're not so prolific with their launches, but still, you know, fairly steady. Okay. Some decent looking recent products as well that you can drill into a bit further if you want to and see if any of those are going to be suitable for you. Okay, let's have a look at their apps. Again, Criteo VWO. Um, yeah, they're all looking pretty good. Okay, so um, that's basically all the information you get on the free version. So on the pro version, okay, you can track up to three stores. So you can find ones that they recommend as the top ones, or you can um, search shops. Okay, by um, looking for certain uh, keywords. Okay, um, but you can get notified when they add new products. Okay, which so you just click subscribe. Um, you can also see their database of the most viewed stores. So like you know, Dudes Gadget and Duke Gadget. Uh, I call gadgets. These are all drop shipping stores. Okay, um, so you can do that. Or you can also search by apps or tools, which I find really useful because I know, for example, Clavio is a very um, expensive email uh, marketing platform. Okay, so straight away you can see the top stores here that are using it. So, I call gadgets. You know, 1.8 million visitors last month. I don't know how accurate these are, but you know they're obviously an indication. Dudes Gadget, Viral Gadgets. You know, these are all drop shipping stores. Okay, so let's just drill into their store. So you can start tracking these guys. They've, they've uh, stopped running their store for some reason. Maybe they got shut down. Uh, well, let's have a look at iCall Gadgets because I know that one's live. So let's just run the Commerce Inspector on that just so you can see what sort of apps they're running. Yeah, so Clavio, that's how we found them. VWA. Wheelio, Quantity Breaks, Cart Hook. Okay, so they're obviously running funnels. So these guys really know what they're doing because Cart Hook's quite a premium um, funnel tool. Okay. Hotjar, Trackify. Again, so Trackify is a great one to search under because that's people that are really serious about segmenting their pixel data properly down to the product level. Um, so anyone that's using Trackify is, is well worth following. So you can go back to uh, apps and tools here and um, you know start looking for stores using Trackify as well. There you go, it's Trackify. So 6,000 plus people using that. Okay, so I call Gadgets the biggest store using that one. What else have we got? 
Gadget rocks. Let's have a quick look at that one. Half a million visitors. No, shops unavailable. I guess in Commerce Inspector only up, um, update their database periodically. And uh, unfortunately, Shopify stores do come and go. Even some of these bigger ones, you know, they may have been shut down for some reason. Okay. So uh, another great one to follow, Zootsy. So have a look at them on Commerce Inspector. Products. Wow, look, they're doing tons of product launches. Okay, so you know this tells you a lot. These stores that are really successful are just testing all the time. All right, so that is the key to it. You've got to be launching about six products a day. Um, I'm really going for it, okay? Because you know, just testing one, losing a little bit of money, and then losing faith isn't going to get you anywhere. You've got to stick at this, and you've got to be prepared to invest before you find your winner, okay? All right, hope that's useful, and I'll catch you soon.